Is there any wine more perfect for summer than rosé? Here to help us more fully appreciate this warm weather favorite that's flying off the shelves right now is WSJ wine columnist Letty Teague. Letty, thanks so much for <laughs> yes. coming and bringing some My treats. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> A rosé really is, is one of those wines that can unify the white wine drinkers and the red wine drinkers, can't it? I think, I don't know, I mean, unification is a beautiful thought. I think <laughs> it's maybe they both let down their guards and they just, you know, decide to have fun. That's, I think that's true. The, the well, beauty of rosé. What should we look I mean, for? Because you've bought three bottles here with you and there are three different shades. I did. Are they the all from Provence? Key. What do we look for? You know, um, Provence is, is the word of choice. I think mm -hmm. it's people don't seem to um, pay attention to producers or regions or, or countries, with the exception of Provence. It's like, like rosé drinkers have learned one word in one place, and it's Provence. And, and it's when they say Provence, they expect this kind of color and this kind of style. And if you like, I can pour you some. I would love. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's Thank very you. Cool. Just yes, talking about it. I'll absolutely. Be pouring it. So you, um, and it's it's this this very peachy, mm -hmm. um, uh, very pale pink color, which is mm -hmm. uh, is stylistic of the uh, of the region, but but also producers like you know um, this this producer in in California actually. Um, produces a, a what he calls a Provencal uh, style wine, which is to say it's made from grapes, Grenache, and Mouvedre, which are typical to Provence, but also in that in that beautiful pale color. Right. That I think people think, oh, if it's a wine like this, this dark red, it's going to be really high in alcohol. It's going to be, which actually this isn't, um, and isn't. I'll get to that in a minute. But so I, I think that they they want this very light, very bright, very refreshing, you know, Cheers, lively. Let's try yes, this one. This looks very lovely. Drinkable. Wine. Mm. And this is from Provence, uh, Chateau Cousin. Mm. One of the oh, uh, it one is of the just delicious. Producers. It's so light. I love it. It's absolutely so. These three are, are your, and it's about twelve percent alcohol. These some three of your favorites. are are definitely three of my favorites. One is a dark rosé, and I have devote a whole category to that because that's pe one something that people are afraid of. But these are is the flavor a little style. different in a darker rosé? Um, you know, it's really grape dependent, and that's the other thing people don't really think about. There, just about every grape in the world is now being used for rosé because people are people that never made rosé are making rosé just because of what you talked about earlier. Everyone's buying rosé, so you know they're in, and it's going and through a very popular moment. It is. It is. Everyone's making it. Everyone's buying it. Everyone's mm. drinking it. Some wines are much better than others, um, as is the, uh, the case of every wine that becomes popular. But I mean, it is like the, the best wine of the season, just because it is so refreshing and it is just so. And juicy have you and ever encountered drinkable. a good rosé that did not come from Provence? Many times, oh, right here, have. California yeah. and Italy, and ah. um, and great rosés from Austria and great rosés from Washington State, and you know that's the that's the beauty part. But as long as people have this. Provence Hall mindset. Yes. I think the Provence is going to, to sort of lead the pack. But as people, I think, discover the great rosés from other parts of the world, they'll maybe be a little bit more adventurous and maybe even drink this, this Charisuelo from Abruzzo, which is terrific and not at all alcoholic and, and wildly refreshing and cheap, too. $14. Fantastic. You know. uh, $14. <laughs> $14. What is the price point on all $20, of these? $20, mm -hmm. $25. The Withers, terrific California, and uh, the Charisuelo um, uh, is about $14. Fantastic, Letty. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I love Happy a good rosé.